Can you eat whatever you want? That is always the biggest question. You will see on YouTube videos everywhere. You'll see um, gym bros, people that are fit, talking about you can eat whatever you want and still lose weight. The answer is yes and no. It depends on your body. Some people can eat whatever they want, still lose weight, still be skinny. Others eat whatever they want and you end up like me. You end up in my situation. Or you may already be in my situation. And it gets tough because people will be shocked. Eat what you want, don't worry about it, you know. But eating what we want, we make bad decisions. I like sweet, sugary things. I like donuts. I like cakes. I love ice cream. I love pizza. And you'll find out all those foods tons and tons and tons of calories so many calories um coffee creamers that you get in the refrigerated section that are not zero calories can add up really fast in like two ounces you can have 500 calories right there and just in sugars and it's, it's insane so yeah it's not possible for everybody to eat what they want when they want and still lose weight for some of us we do have to watch what we eat. Um, I opt for low calorie stuff. Like say, um, I tried to have as many low calorie foods within about 500 calorie span, just because I know that that's what it's gonna take to fill me up. So I always try to opt for low calorie, like cheese sticks, low calorie snacks. Um, like low calorie brownies like Fiber One has these really good 70 calorie brownies they are great for a snack I usually have one like every like once a week or something um, my husband has several a night because he likes them and it's low calorie and he can have more because he's taller his bone structure and everything's different and how he metabolizes is different so he can have more of those and it's fine I however need to limit myself um, I'm also opting for more veggies just because they help fill in the gap and they help keep me full um, if you go for like out to eat and stuff what I am used to do was large combos got me here I am going for like small combos I'm going for like a water or a diet coke that's zero calories um, make sure that I get fries those are generally the lowest calorie side for out to eat that's not you know like super healthy but I know it will fill me up because like if I get like apples or side salad or something and that goes through me really fast I'm still going to be hungry so yeah totally you can still go out to eat just watch what you eat opt for lower calorie food items that you like when you do go out to eat and watch your sodium because like fast food joints the sodium is insane you can go for like a no salt fry fries in general still have sodium but it'll have less sodium if you go for no salt fries um, hamburger patties chicken patties and stuff the way that they're cooked they have still have a lot of sodium so yeah if you want to choose a lower calorie sandwich or a smaller sandwich or like even if you go to a restaurant like uh, Denny's definitely um, watch your calories there some um, combo meals there are a lot of calories you can easily easily eat 2,000 calories there so easily um, I go for like the all-american mm -hmm. grand slam or the french toast combo there um, every once in a while if I know I'm not gonna be eating later or even very much or I'm just gonna stick to you tons and tons of veggies later in the day I'll go for that um, the um, 
the French toast one with the um, the whipped cream filling in the middle and the berries, the stuffed French toast there, that's really good. I'll go for that and then I'll just eat veggies throughout the day. Because that's how my body is. If I have too much sodium, too many sugars and stuff, I'm just going to keep gaining weight. But yeah, everyone's different. So, some of us have to watch what we eat. So, typically I do plan out to have generally like a protein for my main dill part of my uh, plate and then um, I have like a wrap and then um, I will have a bunch of veggies and I'll make sure that my plate is filled up with a good like 70 to 90 percent of vegetables like for example tonight I for dinner I had a piece of salmon which is 235 calories and then I had six tots I had uh, five or six baby potatoes and then the rest of my plate which was like nearly 50 percent was just a side salad with um, zero calorie balsamic vinaigrette and then I did my salmon in the zero calories uh, vinaigrette as well so I just had the calories for my salmon my tots and my potatoes that I need to count as the vegetables are very little as is so you don't have to count that unless you absolutely want to and then of course you would scan the barcode and then put in like how much you ate like if you want to weigh your um, mixed greens or your lettuces or whatever you're just having by itself you can totally weigh and then put that in too if you really want to but if it's just like mixed greens you don't have to track it as it's very little calories as it is it's not gonna matter but yeah hopefully this kind of helps you to learn that um, some people do have to watch what they eat some people can't go all willy-nilly because um, if you do lose a, a lot of weight and you do go willy-nilly there's a very good chance that you will gain it all back